This is David Pasco, a health and longevity enthusiast who is aging slower than Brian Johnson. Although he's been on Earth 61 years, his biological age is just under 31 nice. years old. His longevity protocol costs around $15,000 per year compared to Brian's $2 million. And unlike Brian, he eats meat and doesn't restrict calories, mostly to maintain high testosterone levels naturally. Dave is proof that you can drastically slow aging without living with green goo induced hanger. Here's a summary of Dave's longevity protocol. His daily routine is intense, starting with Dave waking up without an alarm clock for a stress-free start. After doing some light stretching in bed, he engages in various activities like mini trampoline, floor stretches, foam roller, and an inversion table. He then checks his sleep scores on a fitness tracker. He starts ingesting a plethora of pills for health and to slow aging, including supplements, peptides and medications right after waking and others later in the morning including bioregulators, proteolytic enzymes, senolytics and sometimes methylene blue. He then consumes a nutrient rich beverage with lemon tea, probiotics, vitamins and collagen. Afterwards he does a session of red light therapy followed by high intensity cardio usually stationary bike sprints. He then steps outside for sunrise exposure taking a walk or run, then he does strength training, followed by a 45 minute infrared sauna session with meditation, and finishes off the morning routine with a hearty breakfast. During the day, he focuses on learning by listening to podcasts and audiobooks, or watching YouTube videos. He eats an early dinner between 3 and 5 p.m., then takes his evening supplements, and follows that up with some balance and flexibility work. Before bedtime, he has a skincare routine which includes hyaluronic acid, regenerative creams, and moisturizers to keep his youthful appearance. Then he takes some supplements, peptides, and medications, and winds down in bed by praying and reviewing his daily blessings. Dave makes sure he gets a solid 8 hours of sleep per night, analyzing the quantity and quality of sleep with a sleep tracker. Dave is a big proponent of regular testing to prevent taking unnecessary, useless or even harmful compounds and nipping diseases in the bud. He continues to adjust his interventions and supplementation dosages to optimize his markers, ideally to similar ranges seen in college athletes, such as his NAD levels. He regularly tests every blood and urine biomarker available through life extension, and LabCorp. He does annual trace elements hair tissue mineral analysis and spectracell micronutrient panels to see levels of micronutrients and toxins in his body. He does annual DEXA scans to check his bone density, body fat and muscle mass. He estimates his biological age using blood biomarkers, true diagnostic epigenetic clock, glycan age and telomere length. He also has done various DNA testing, including sequencing his whole genome through nebula genomics. Dave avoids unnecessary harmful environmental exposures to prevent diseases. He filters the water and air in his house. He uses more natural health, beauty, and cleaning products. And he prefers using cookware, food, and drink containers that are free from toxins, such as polytetrafluoroethylene, phthalates, and bisphenols. Some of the other interventions that Dave follows but with emerging health benefits are cold exposure. He often does cold exposure by having cold showers, indoor or outdoor plunges and keeps the temperature cooler in his house. Plasma pharesis. Instead of paying to have his plasma extracted, Dave donates plasma twice weekly for two to three weeks every three months. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy. He does 10 consecutive days of 90 minute sessions every 6 to 12 months. As you can tell by his physique, Dave is a big proponent of exercise. He focuses on the following four pillars of fitness. Cardiorespiratory fitness. Dave knows that high cardiorespiratory fitness, aka high VO2 max, has the strongest correlation to longevity. This is also known as Zone 5 training, made popular recently by Dr. Peter Atia. To improve his VO2 max, he usually performs high intensity intervals on a stationary bike. Strength and muscle. 
Next to his VO2 max, strength and muscle are the second best correlates to a long, healthy lifespan. To achieve strength and gain muscle, Dave lifts weights and follows home training programs such as P90X and Tap Out XT, which contain aspects of strength, plyometrics, kickboxing, cardio, ab training, and yoga. Metabolic flexibility, which is the ability to efficiently switch between using glucose and fatty acids for energy. Peter Atia calls this zone 2 training, which Dave achieves through brisk outdoor walks and hikes. And balance and stability. He often works on his flexibility, balance and stability using a BOSU ball and balance board. This is critical since falling is a major risk of morbidity and mortality for seniors. As for diet, Dave rarely does time restricted eating or intermittent fasting because he is lean and wants to preserve muscle. He typically eats a high protein and low carbohydrate whole food omnivore diet. He avoids eating processed foods and sugars, deep fried food and food with man-made junk in it as in this list. Most of his protein comes from grass-fed beef, pork, chicken, eggs and fish. Dave recognizes the importance of protein for building and maintaining muscle, even at the expense of activating mTOR cell signaling. He partially negates mTOR activation by cycling high protein intake and supplementing with medication. His primary sources of carbohydrates include sweet potatoes, squash, and rice. His main sources of fat include eggs, meat, fish, butter, avocados, and extra virgin olive oil. And he also makes sure he eats plenty of vegetables. In addition to his clean diet, Dave takes over 150 supplements and medications, cycling off nearly all of them on weekends. Notable additional mentions include rapamycin, 6 mg every week or two, the peptides thymosin, alpha-1, TB500, thymulin, and BPC-157, and the supplements Truniagen, calcium AKG, taurine, physitin, quercetin, TAM-818, and TA65. Also keeping an eye on cutting edge breakthrough therapies and plans for whole body stem cell treatment in the near future once it becomes affordable. If you find Dave's longevity protocol overwhelming and unattainable for the average person, you're not the only one. I'd argue that out of all the things that Dave does, his sleep, exercise, diet, skin routine, and rapamycin protocol are likely producing the biggest impact on his youthful appearance and biological age. What do you think? Comment below if you'd like to see more longevity protocols from those who manage to dramatically slow their aging.